Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Should I even take a break, buddy? Okay, so we're live. Um, it's Friday Night Flies. Zach's got some shows, I believe. I am tying the cartoon hopper. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple pattern once you get the uh, cutting down. Like, it's literally, an, for me, it's an all-night ordeal just to do all the cutting, and then the next day I'll actually tie the flies. But, yeah. It's the shape of the foam. It's the, yeah, it's shaping the foam. It's That's the hardest part. So, honestly, I'd say it's a super easy fly for beginners if you have the bodies pre-made. If you have to cut the bodies... It, it is challenging. You got mud on your eye. Oh, you sorry. Can tell, you can tell those guys what you were just doing. Well, I was... You actually sent me a text saying, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it Friday Night Flies tonight because, well... I was I was up biking. <laughs> but, well, I had uh, my team and I couldn't exactly can't leave ditch them. Em. I can't her, ditch them. So. And I thought I was going to be back earlier, but oh well. So I walked in here with all my bike gear on. Underneath this, I got a jersey and stuff. So, okay. So let you want to go down? Yeah, we'll go down. You can explain what we're tying here. Okay, so I'm tying the cartoon grasshopper or hopper, foam hopper. Um, I got uh, elk hair for the wing. I've got um, uh, just silly legs, size medium, and I've got actually these stick-on eyes. These are um, just really easy um stick on just stickers basically and i'll just put some head cement on there just to make sure they stick onto that foam really well and i used a black sharpie to just give the hopper a little bit more definition and i'm tying on a size 8 curved hook so yeah let's get started okay so there it is so I'm just going to wrap my bobbin down. Because honestly, you're only going to be using about this much of the hook. Uh, where the scissors here. Okay, now we're going to take our foam body that is pain take it, pain takingly. Oh man, I forgot stuff. Um, we're going to take some Superfly head cement, just wipe that off, and I'm just going to stick that onto the shank. It's okay if it drips, not the end of the world, and sucking in all the fumes here. And this is just going to really help the fly stick. Now when tying this, you don't want the body to really be moving, but you also don't want you don't want a bunch of a bunch of different like cross lines on the top. On the bottom, it's kind of hard to avoid it. So I'm just gonna keep. So I want about two or three, depending on the size of your body and hook, um, little balls, I guess you could call them, cylindrical uh, pieces. As you can see, it's sliding all over the place. That's because this foam is a little bit difficult to tie with. That's why we put that head cement on there. Okay, so we got that on there. Now, oh, of course that had to happen to me. Oh, it happens to the best. It happens. Time. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get this nice and on there nice and tight. Yeah, that's how it usually happens. Either that or uh, you get one of the boys put a few nicks in your uh, thread or your bobbin for you. Yeah. Before you start tying. They've done that to me before too. <laughs> okay, so I just trimmed off that little piece. And the nice part about the head cement is it keeps your thread when you do that. Like you can see this thing going all over the place. So I'm just gonna hold that down. And we apply quite a bit of head cement to this. By the end of it, it doesn't move around. Trust me. Okay, so now we're going to add on our legs. So I just got silly legs, size medium. 
doesn't really matter matter about the pattern you use. Now I'm just going to tie a knot in it, simple granny knot. And this is just going to help give it a little bit more definition. Cut it. So I just made a granny knot right in the center, right? So now I'm just going to, I want the knot to be right near the back, right there. Just going to tie that in. And I like to do it double. Right, so then it's going to, actually, I usually do three. Let's see how this is working. Okay. So now we got that. Once we trim it, it'll fan out a little bit better. Drop my silly legs. Okay. We're going to do the same for the other side. As you can see, this hasn't been a super complicated tie so far. Solid though. Solid. Yeah. I really liked Brad's blood worm that he just did. Yeah, you want super to with a simple pattern. That's about as simple as it gets. Yeah. But very effective. Okay, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. Pull it back a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to trim these legs up. Make them look a little bit more grass hoppery, I guess is the term. And I'm just going to trim them right at the butt. And yeah, you may have to twist and turn them a little bit. I'm going to grab these, put them together. I like it just because it's a little bit more of a gauge. Pull this guy up a little bit. There we go. And now, where's our elk hair? that in our stacker get the tips all lined up by the way I got a new stacker Brad didn't like mine so well I don't think you did either I didn't you? like it either yeah. it didn't really work that well one thing when you get yourself a cheap stacker typically they're made of aluminum and they don't let your hair stack well no but that was the weird thing mine was like 10 bucks and then I just bought this one for um, that, what was it, 15? Yeah, that's brass. That's a beauty, man. I know. And it, a whole lot better. Okay. Pull some of those random hairs out. Now, this isn't the longest of hair. So I like to tie it in at that second lockdown point, I guess. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you can still recover that one, bud. You just gotta work quick here before she slips on you. There That's we go. One, the nice thing about that foam yeah, is it's it traps your, it. It's trapping your thread. Just I think quick. I do have nicks in this. Oh, oh, you're just you're working it hard right now, bud. That's all you're doing. You're trying to keep it tight. Okay. There we go. Nice save, kiddo. Nice save. Okay, now we got a nice big old mess. Gotta admit, this hasn't been my best video so far now. <laughs> I was all excited yeah, for this Brad's week. Like, <laughs> Brad sabotaged your fault, your ball. And... <laughs> oh, probably. I left it here overnight, so. Oh, life is not liking me right now. <laughs> I think you, sp you left it all out on that downhill, man, on your, your mountain yeah. bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta hold that head back I know okay it'll come back okay we're gonna have a better time now hopefully this oh you've got to be kidding me okay we still have got this so far for that recovery uh, you know what we've all been there kiddo oh this it's, is not going good it's not going good Sometimes, you know what, it's just easier to start over again. Like, just pull that deer hair out of there, bud. I know, I'm just, gonna do that. Yeah, just, I'm sorry, guys. Hey, don't hey, don't be sorry, buddy. We've all had it happen. You know what you can do? You can recover from that, 
just get yourself another little stack of deer hair and put it right up on top of that one. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm going to do. Just kind of get her all back up on there. There you go, buddy. Okay. He's like, Zach's like oh. going with her, man. It's all good. We've all been there, bud. I know. And that's the beauty of time. Time flies live. Well, if I was just like at home, I wouldn't be as like mad, but this is live and it's like, oh. Ah, that's what it is, man. So you just bang her out. Okay. Well, hey, you're going to show people how to recover. Yeah, I've showed people how to recover so far tonight. Yeah, the recovery. I know what it is. I'm using your Dr. Slicks, and they're too slick for me. They're just too slick. Okay. Let's get that in there again. Okay, this is really not liking me today. That's okay, bud. It's, there we go. There you go. You got her that time. Just go easy on that thread, man. Go easy on the thread. I know it's six odd. I'm yeah. starting to second guess myself now. Okay, there, there we go. go. Saved. Saved. Okay, so now I got that in. And I'm actually daringly going to add in another stack <laughs> even <laughs> more you <got> her. <laughs> higher up. Usually, That's I haven't. Like I haven't had this bad of an incident yet of cutting oh, my own know, thread. Man. Oh well. You, you'll go through a spurt where you can't do anything but break thread. Yep, ask poor Scotty Holmes. He went through a few. I seen him break three times on one fly and Ooh. and do it back to back flies. And then uh, I had one night where uh, the guys actually put some nicks in my thread, <laughs> my bobbin. And I mean, I couldn't even wrap without it breaking off. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here? And all the guys are just laughing their ass off in the background. I'm like, okay, time to swap out the bobbin. Giggling in the oh, background. Yeah. You got to get that tip. Your, there no, you go. that's okay. So now we got that all in. Okay. Now the easy stuff is beginning to happen. <laughs> okay. So... Now hey, I good. like to it's add. Back together, buddy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my bobbin instead, and I like to add just a little bit of head cement right at that base, and actually the weight of it helps it just comb backwards, and it's gonna hold my stuff in place a little bit better. Okay, so. Uh, is there any more wrapping I have to do? Nope. Okay. Whip finish time. But you're, uh, you're missing your eyes. Yeah, I don't need to. You're not throwing eyes on this one? No, I am. Right. I don't need to tie them in, though. You're right. I thought you were finishing. And I am also going to reinforce that bottom part with some um, head cement. Because you can see it's going all over the place. And I'm looking like a beginner again. Oh, this is not, not my day. Easy to tie over top of that. Uh, I know. I found that out, but I would even just finish it with a half hitch. You got enough. I uh, know. Head cement in there, just a just hit her with the head the uh, half hitch, bud. That's what I'm gonna do. I usually can get the. I've got one whip on it, so. Okay. Bingo. We're gonna we're gonna be putting head cement on, so it's not that bad. That's gonna get them. And I don't typically like to do this with my body still moving like that, but I'm gonna have to add some head cement on. Now, I forgot to grab my eyes over to there. Oh, if I didn't bring them. I think they're up on top there, were they? Oh yeah, here they are. Okay. So I just have these fish scale stick on eyes. I always have liked the uh, yellow, but you can get red, green, whatever. And the nice part about tying hoppers is you can customize the color as well of foam. Even these eyes don't want to stick on for me. Grab a new eye.
Oh, there we go. Keep forgetting I got a rolling vice. Okay, there we go. So now we have that on there, and I'm just going to finish the head off with head cement. Now head cement just locks these eyes in, because as I said, they don't like to stick on to the foam. Oh, that was a lot. The glob. A glob. You might want to just grab that glob off the other side there. Just take your brush and scoop it back on. Yeah. There we go. There you go, buddy. Apply that to the lake. Okay, so now that we've got that on there, I'm going to take my Sharpie. It's actually a pretty crucial step to tying this fly is putting just little dots onto it. It's creepy how much that freaking changes it. Looks. Yeah, how, how it makes it look like an actual grasshopper, man. Yeah. Jeez. I like to put some on the bottom. Oh, I didn't get that side. And you guys will see. Rich says that uh, he wants you to send that fly to him. He says he'll use it on the Thompson River. Oh, yeah. And you know that's going to kill one of the Thompson, that's for sure. I feel really bad about... Why would you, man? Well, not I... bad, but... Ah, frick. You know what the end result? That thing is looking pretty mighty sexy, bud. Gonna murder. That's okay, good. so there you go. That's my fly. I would... I'm, go I'm definitely going to add head cement on the bottom. Help keep the body in place a little bit better. Um, what you could also do to it is you could put some Superfly um, Bronze Diamond Dub right where you've wrapped the deer hair in. Uh, that really helps hide your wraps. I didn't think of it as I was doing it. But, um, yeah. So there's my fly. You want to go up? We'll do it. Uh, Rich wants you to autograph it for him first before you send it to him, okay? All right, will do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's my fly. Had a couple of breaks in the thread and cut my own thread, but oh well. Life is life keeps going on. Uh, yeah, that's my cartoon hopper. Uh, I'm excited to use it this summer. I'm going to go inland to the Thompson actually. Um, that's gonna get them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, plan on going to Kamloops a little bit, fish there. But yeah, this is my fly. This is what I'd suggest using in the inner mainland, I guess. The interior, uh, yeah. The interior, just because here, like, especially here in Pemberton, the fish don't necessarily love the grasshoppers compared to other things. Well, there just isn't a real big Yeah, population. there isn't a big population. Oh, they'll still eat them. Yeah, they will. Yeah. I, I've used them out here, but they're not as, like, if you're, that's like, this is like sort of my desperate hit and miss fly, but. That's a go-to. Yeah. For the Thompson Okanagan. For the Okanagan, yeah, inland. This is what I'd be using. Okay, so yeah, signing out. Have a good Friday, Friday night, weekend. Ethan's, uh, Zach's coming up next. Yep, Zach. Okay, see ya.